peanut butter sandwich. I'll sing you the poem of a silly young king who played with the world at the end of a string, but he only loved one single thing, and that was just a peanut butter sandwich. His scepter and his royal gowns, his regal throne and golden crowns, were brown and sticky from the mounds and dripping from each peanut butter sandwich. His subjects were all silly fools, for he had passed a royal rule that all you could learn in school was how to make a peanut butter sandwich. He would not eat his sovereign steak. He scorned his soup and kingly cake and told his courtly cooks to bake an extra sticky peanut butter sandwich. And then one day he took a bite and started chewing with delight and found his mouth was stuck quite tight from that last bite of peanut butter sandwich. His brother pulled, his sister pried, the wizard pushed, his mother cried. My boys committed suicide from eating his last peanut butter sandwich. The dentist came and the royal doc, the royal plumber banged and knocked, but still those jaws stayed tightly locked. Oh, darling, that sticky peanut butter sandwich. The carpenter, he tried with pliers. The telephone man, he tried with wires. The firemen, they tried with fire, but couldn't melt that peanut butter sandwich. With ropes and pulleys, drills and coil, with steam and lubricating oil, for 20 years of tears and toil, they fought that awful peanut butter sandwich. Then all his royal subjects came. They hooked his jaws with grappling chains and pulled both ways with might and main against that stubborn peanut butter sandwich. Each man and woman, girl and boy, put down their plows and pots and toys and pulled until crack, oh joy, they broke right through that peanut butter sandwich. A puff of dust a screech, a squeak, the king's jaws opened with a creak. And then in a voice so faint and weak, the first words that they heard him speak were, how about a peanut butter sandwich? Where the sidewalk ends.